What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we got kind of a custom order going on, but we're gonna put our own vinyl on this. Boom shakalaka! So just a quick kind of story on this one. I do have a customer that wants a custom bar top we're doing a raspberry pi build on this so 15,000 games going in on this it's actually a close friend of mine um so i'm hooking him up it's kind of a gift um but basically what i wanted to do was um we do want to keep the budget low but we kind of want to keep it a little bit custom so basically i ordered a white bar top cabinet from game room solutions obviously game room solutions i get the cabinets from them until i settle into my new house and all that i'll probably dab into making my own cabinets but for now the quick CNC cuts out of Game Room Solutions works for me. But this one real quick today, we're gonna see if we could do a little bit of a custom kind of theme to it. Um, the company, it's an entertainment company, so they're really into white, they're really into chrome, and they're just kind of modern and clean. So I'm kind of designing this for them, and basically on my end, I kind of thought about it. We're gonna do a white carbon fiber look to this one. So basically, one on Amazon, got a cheap vinyl. Basically, we're gonna slap it on the Game Room Solutions cabinet. So before anything again, I did have this cabinet lying around in the shop. It's been here for at least maybe five or six months. You know, I kind of started out with, I ordered maybe 10 cabinets and just had them ready to go. Um, I just had this one sitting. So some of you might watch this video and be like, why are you doing what you're doing, Vic? Because you might say that because the cabinet that I actually have is white. It is a white cabinet. So some of you might be saying like, why are you gonna put white vinyl on white cabinet? I get that, but this vinyl is a little bit unique. It's got a carbon fiber look to it and it's got a glossy side to it. So we're gonna unbox this and we're gonna start with basically the left and the right panels. I'm not sure if I have enough vinyl to do the control panel, but right now I really wanna just get the side panels done. All right, guys, so real quick, we got it cut, looking smooth. Basically, we're going to tuck this in so that it's underneath the T-molding. This way, no graphics could come out, basically. But as you can see, literally just making the edge, I do have some play here. So a two foot, I did measure this before, this is about two feet. Two feet will work. We're going to take our blade, we're going to cut this out. But basically, one side is done. All right, guys, so basically after we laid it all out, we took our straight edge, which is included in the kit, and we literally ran it right across the edging. So there is nothing actually on this edging here. It's just easier that way to keep it clean, very smooth, and you can kind of see the gloss finish to this. Looks really good, really like it. I mean, you can see it right there. You don't really see the carbon fiber on the camera, but in person, you do see a really nice carbon fiber finish to it compared to the matte flat that they give you. Definitely a little bit worth it. I mean, again, 20 bucks. It looks like I do have a lot, so we will be able to do the control panel as well. So right now we're doing the second one. And just real quick, it's kind of hard to tell actually with this. I can't really tell if there's any air bubbles because of this protective film. I mean, you can kind of see it. It looks like there's an air bubble here, but there actually isn't. Again, on this right here, I can't do this one-handed, but, no, there we go. There is a protective film on this. See that? So once we remove the protective film, now it does look very clean. I really like this carbon final look to it. This is really nice stuff. Again, cheap stuff, 20 bucks. I bought two 24s. At least for the side panels, I could have done just the side panels. So I do have some extra that we're gonna cut out, but I do have an extra one that's gonna go for the control panel, the USB um, admin buttons, and if I'm feeling lucky, we're gonna do the top of it too. Okay guys, so after we did the side panels, again, really enjoying this. You can't really see the carbon fiber. It's tough on the camera. You kind of see it there. Really nice stuff. I do have some left, so I believe that we will be able to knock out the control panel and 
the admin panel with this little piece that's left. All right guys, after about maybe 20 minutes, we got admin buttons, we got our control deck here, and our side panels are done. Uh, again, I'm not too sure, I'm gonna try to maybe do, I don't know if I'm gonna do the speaker grills, but I will try to at least get done the top. That's this. No, that's this. I might try to get the top done, I'm not too sure. But just real quick to take a look at what we have left of that two foot roll. I mean, we have two big pieces. This unfortunately is not long enough though to like fill like the control panel is too short. This is from the side panel. So we have two big pieces for the side panel. Again, it's tough to see on the camera, but at least you can kind of get the idea of it. We're going to basically build this cabinet now and uh, that's really it. Just a quick side note, it is a good idea to do the vinyl before you assemble it only because getting the blade in is going to be tough as far as the side panels you could probably do it assembled but like this this is going to be a nightmare if you have it assembled that's why this i'm not too sure if i'm going to do this i don't really know yet uh i'm not too sure i'm going to see if one of my extra pieces will fit this but just keep that in mind you always want to do the side art before you build it